Oh, we outside, we have. Alright. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Lab. We outside with it today, man. Back again with another video. We are planning fitness today, as you can clearly see over there. It's kind of gloomy. It's a little. It's not. There's not much. There's not really a lot of sun today. You know, it is what it is. But we see how check trying to get to work, man. All right. I'm sick and tired of y'all failing y'all PTs, man. It's it's honestly embarrassing at this point. Um, many of y'all passed the written exam and then go ahead and fail the. PT, come on now. We, I told you we are also trying to get that work, man. All right, yo. And also, I've seen sometimes before you even get a chance to take the written exam, you already failing the physical part. And I also don't feel like the physical part should be the one that will disqualify you. You feel me? Maybe anything else might, but it shouldn't be the physical stuff. So we outside trying to get you better. Let's get it, yo. Oh, by the way, real quick, the reason why we are applying fitness today is because I do not want to hear any excuse as to why you cannot work out oh the gym is too expensive plan fit is like 10 bucks a month um and you can cancel whatever time you feel like canceling so there is no excuse for not being able to pass the stuff today um but when i, when I get into the gym i'm going to show you some more about the road test because that's what we're going to be testing out on today most departments in texas again most departments in texas do the road test 2000 meter road test all those departments do the 1.5 meter run you know and some other things but most ones deal with just the road test so i'll actually go and try and get it on the road test and teach some stuff let's get it all right so we're in planet fitness right now and usually when i come to this place the first thing i do is stretch to let somebody ever make you believe that stretch is not important the first thing i do is stretch i can use the resistance bands to stretch but what i personally like using are these machines right here And basically on these machines, they have everything right there for you. Lower back stretch, hamstring stretch, upper back stretch, shoulders, the list goes on. So everything that you do want to do is right here. guys can hear me because um, I hope my audio is like good enough because the background noise can count loud here sometimes. Anyways, this is the row machine that you use in the police department when taking your PT test. Like I said earlier in this video, most police departments use the 2000 meter row test and this is a set of row machine that they use. Now, other departments that say do the 1.5 meter run, some others do the obstacle courses, that is your way of testing out for them. But most departments in Texas use the road meter. Now, it's not that hard, honestly, but I will say how it worked for me was um, I started slow. So start off with like 200 meter, 300 meter. You do not have to go the whole 1,000 meters or 5,000 meter the whole way, no. Start out slow, build your way up, and from there, you're gonna be good to go. Now, of course, the police departments are gonna explain these things to you as well, but that's the only way you can learn from this. I will say also, involve yourself in doing some leg workouts like walking around, leg extensions, squats, build your leg strength as well as build your endurance. But for the road test, that's the two things you need. Building leg strength and building your endurance. That's all you need and you can pass whatever road test is given to you. We can't have you guys feeling anymore, man. Come on now. It sounds jacked up that you pass the written test and then feel the physical test. Don't, let it, don't, don't be that guy. Anyways, 
back on the rotors, you put your two legs into these two slots right here. And get, make sure your legs are perfectly aligned. You use this rope right here, for those that don't know how to roll that well, yank it up so you can fit you tight on both sides. When you feel like your legs are good to go. So usually on most police departments, right, the resistance level is gonna be on five. But when you start out, it's always nice to do like one or two, just so you can build your weight up to the top. And then do like three, four, and of course this is like five. But the resistance level that you put on is five. Right now, we're putting it on level five. And this is all you have to do. All the way down. Just like that. The reason why you do not want an average of motion, average of motion is like this. What about you just using just your hands? The reason why you do not want an average of motion is in the fact that you do not have enough explosion. When you only have an average of motion, your explosion is a lot smaller and you're not getting as much reps and as much power as you can put into the room. So you want to go all the way down and use your legs to blow back up just like this. Doing that sets you at a pace. You thereby you pace yourself and you do not burn out or tire out on time. Because eventually, with a certain meter, you're gonna tire out. Your legs are gonna give up and your hands are gonna give up. But you do not want to tire out. That's why I said build your endurance and build your legs. Get the explosion you need by doing all the way, full range of motion, get as much power, and the roll machine is gonna read that and it's going to give more points and you can get your cell meter way faster. Remember again, no half range of motion, none of that. You want all the way down there and full explosion. Give yourself a good pace and that's exactly how you're going to pass the road test. On hook your stuff, most times the police department is going to be the one that's going to unlock it for you. Put your thing down because you've been so tired they're not gonna let you unlock it yourself again. Take your time, settle down, and just rest. Just like this. All right. So we're back on the treadmill right now. Um, that was that about that for the road test. But like I said earlier on, not all departments administer the road test. Some departments decide to do the widow army way, which is 1.5 mile run. Well, army way is technically two mile run. But some departments just decide to do 1.5 mile run, push ups, and sit ups. Now, I'm not dealing with all those. However, I am dealing with the road test and the run. The run might be a little harder for others because it involves a lot of endurance. If you go on a track, a 1.5 mile run is going to mean you have to run for six laps, which you guys can definitely do. It's not impossible. Now, on the 1.5 mile run, all you have to do is worry about your endurance, honestly. Same thing like the road test. I have some strong guys' legs, and I have the endurance to go for 1.5 miles. You know, and of course, do not forget, time limit. Most departments are like 15 minutes for 1.5 miles. Some might be a little bit faster than that, some might be a little later than that, but average 15 minutes for 1.5 mile run. This is not impossible at all. So, there's not really a lot of tips I can say when it comes to the 1.5 mile run. It's a little bit easier for me coming from the army because we have to like run two miles almost every single day. Um, but I will say, if there's one thing that can help you run, build your legs. Build your legs, work on your endurance. And once you got those two take care of, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. If you do not pace yourself, you're going to tire out. I've seen so many people fail their PT test because they start out immediately just gunning it out. No, pace yourself. Build your endurance and stick with it. Trust the process. All right, yo, we're done from Planet Fitness. And real quick, I just want to mention, I am so sorry for the um, shoe I had on. The shoe I have is not a running shoe, so please get the right running shoes. It can make or break your whole running. Trust me. I, I always felt from, I'm from Africa, right? So I always feel like, oh yeah, it's, I'll be fine. It's a breeze. It doesn't matter what kind of, sometimes run our feet sometimes, like a regular leg, just no shoes on. And I feel it's going to be a breeze, but trust me, your shoes, the shoes you wear to run can either make or break your whole run. 
So get the right shoes. The shoes I have on right now, which is the Converse. These guys, yeah. Those are not the shoes you want, you hear me? So you want to get the right running shoes. And that's pretty much it. Again, peace and love, yo. I hope somebody was out there watching this video and that and hopefully got something to learn from this video. Because that's the whole purpose of this. And um, I'll be dropping another video soon about something else later. Y'all yeah, stay tuned, yo. And thanks for the subs. Remember to sh share, like, and subscribe. Um, comments in the comment section. Ask any questions. I always reply every single comment. Unless it's anything stupid. But I'll just reply. Alright, peace and love, yo. We out of here. Peace.